<laughs> I've watched him come up and bite it. <laughs> a bluegill? Like blue Gabe? <laughs> bluegill? What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Y'all see that boat right over there? That's Brad with G3 Outfitters and we were just in Kentucky. And we did a video that I don't have a really good intro for. So today we're with Nicole Spence. But right now I'm going to take you back to Kentucky. Hooked up! What you got? Big old bluegill. Mmm. I'm going to take you back to Kentucky to this river where Brad and I got taken bow fishing. I don't really have words to describe it, but it was life changing to say the least from when we first pulled into the parking lot until we left. I'm going to roll the clip and show you all about six or seven minutes of this. I don't even know how to, how to say what we did. But I'm going to show y'all, and then we'll be right back. But first, hold on one second. Brad, how do you describe Kentucky bow fishing in that river? <laughs> Brad, look at the maggots. <laughs> Your crew ain't never seen no redneck fun like this. <laughs> oh, look at the head on that thing. Oh. And when we break the shotgun out and the whiskey, they really ain't seen nothing. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa, whoa, that was cold. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Behind a boat. Oh! oh I hope he died. Yeah. Gonna be on. We're going fishing though. You're right, we are. You got him right in the head. What killed all those fish right there? Disease, floodgates, fast water. A lot of things kill them when they're this bad. Look at that. Ugh. You have an appetite right now? I'm about to throw up again. Look at all of them up on the line. Oh my god, look at them all there. Uh, oh oh my gosh. Time. Kick the lights on real quick. Look. Brad, look at the maggots. <laughs> Brad, get us away from her. <laughs> you guys, there was like two foot of maggots on those dead fish. Oh my gosh. Don't go back over there. Oh my I was God. looking at them, I'm like, why do they look so weird? They were covered in maggots. Oh, I thought you said they didn't smell. No, not at all. Brad, aren't you excited to do a catch, clean, and cook on these things? <laughs> oh, right in the noggin. B Rad, will you please tell my fans that I'm getting better at shooting a bow? Getting a lot better. <sighs> this used to take 100 shots to get things like this done. You guys, about those maggots that were in that dam. I'm telling you right now, that pleco, the paku, ain't got nothing on the smell of that thing. I'm gonna try to go back over there in a minute and get a better picture. That was disgusting. Oh my goodness! What one. in the world? I stuck mine. I got one. I don't. Know. I got one. <laughs> Boys and girls, I don't know if y'all saw that or not. But that was like three or four hundred of these things in one wad. Man, guys, I'm telling you, it's everything I can do to not puke when we get near these big wads of dead ones. It's bad. Oh my gosh. Oh! 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 Dude, what are we doing? Oh! My goodness, Brad! I never even shot. Wait, we oh my goodness, <laughs> you guys! I know the light's not that great, but this is the craziest thing I think I've ever done. All right, y'all, we're done for the night. We filled up a 50-gallon drum, and they're still pulling them out of the back of the boat. Y'all, look at this! Ah, oh, 
Are you excited to eat them, Brad? I can't wait. <laughs> so the one clip where you saw me screaming pinned underneath there, I was trying to get y'all a cool shot. I was right in here. And that's not the place to be when there's like a hundred of these things jumping at one time. Y'all, for these lights, check out Outrigger Outdoors. I'll have the link in the description below. Look at that! Okay, we ready for live action. Let's go. Well, lock and load, boys. Let's roll with it. We about lost Timmy. Off the bat. Hang on, catfish. I got, it. I got, it. I got this. Hang on. I need Larry. I don't need Timmy now. Right. Come on, Larry. Oh my hell. Oh my god. All right, you guys, luck is on my side again. Let's walk back to the back. Now, Mr. Richard really loves to eat these big Asian Absolutely. carp. Absolutely. He loves to eat them. Look at that. Look at that. Nick Stanzik, y'all swordfish ain't got nothing on these Asian carp. I need the harpoons what I need. Yeah, we'll see that. Big, 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 big in the motor. Watch the motor. We're good, we're good. I mean, a good qualified captain would have us like a gaff or something. When you're shooting fish of this size, you know what I mean? Well, I was thinking about that. I was kind of thinking about my deposit. Well, I gave you an IOU. Yeah, when the, when the deposit comes, the gaff comes out of the drawer. That is a big one, guys. That's a big thing. Jumbo. That is a jumbo. Woo! I ain't trying to get my finger cut like Brad did. I mean, trying to put it out of his mouth, maybe. There's nothing in there. There's no teeth or nothing. Hey, wait a minute. I got some plant. Oh. That's the thing coming off. He's in the meat. Here, Brad. You, you got, got him. him. You got him. Look at that. The size of that Woo -hoo! one. Woo-hoo! Great shot, Gabe. So the cool thing about these arrows, you unscrew the head, and the prongs that keep them on actually then slide forward. Just like so. And these fish are crazy slimy, so you better have a hold of them. And just like that, it's slimy out. Hey, 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 look at this though. Look at that. Big old fat Asian carp. Look down his throat. I think that's a big head carp. A big head carp, sorry. Oh, look at that. Oh. Look at that. So these guys are filter feeders. They swim around filtering the water. 
I got the door open. Hey, I got enough food for all of us to eat all week. We won't go hungry. It's just how we do it. Brad and I left my house in Stewart, Florida last night at 7 o'clock. We got here at 7.30 this morning. No sleep, no time for the weary. We're out here shooting carp. You clean my spot off. Do I don't want to slip. <laughs> Shampoo and carpet. Yeah. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta have Stanley Steamer on, on payroll. I mean, you own about $4 billion worth of real estate and we got a cooler for a month. Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Brad told me this was a professional outfit. Absolutely. <laughs> You're professional, hey, all right. This bucket came from Fast Break and Tackle, Okeechobee, Florida. <laughs> Chase Marsusi. <laughs> Why ain't old Chase here right now? I... Chase is on honeydews. He's always on honeydews. Hello, Chase. <laughs> That's right here in America. Brad, don't, don't die. This is so dumb. Watch out! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what about hit me? <laughs> All right, well, I've already lost my $200 pair of glasses. Retake number two. Let it rip, tater chip. Oh, there he was. There he is, my hat. Y'all see this bow? Y'all see that giant Asian big headed carp? What are they called? Actually, let me do it over again. I didn't mean to drop him. All right, let's see what's in this big mama's belly and then we're gonna clean her. Not only have I never cleaned one, but I've never seen one. I ain't never touched one, but we're about to see what's in the guts of a giant big head carp. These things have taken over Kentucky Lake, a lot of the big lakes and rivers. That's her row. Holy cow, Brad, get on here and look at that. Look at the row. So I've heard that they, they can spawn up to two times a year and have like 300,000 babies each. That's just one row sack. Look, that's another row sack. All of that, that's probably three pounds a row out of one fish. And as y'all will see in the footage of this video, this is, a, this is only a landlocked 20 acre lake and there's hundreds of them. Look, the row's still going. That's all row. That's insane. All right, so this is the only Danko knife I had right now and this is not a really good flay knife for this particular style of fish. We're gonna go back to the cabin where we're staying, where my good knives are. We'll clean her there, let's go. Y'all check out that new color Danko. That's right, they're back in stock. Let's clean this carp though. I've never ever cleaned one. I've never seen one. What the, the big bone right there? Look at it. The meat don't look bad. I sure am glad these guys up here in Kentucky like to eat them. Because I'm not super excited. 
Dang, there's a bone right there. Something serious. They're bony. I don't think it looks bad. I bet I can make it taste good. The texture of this meat, I can already tell. If I soak it in a little bit of milk, a little bit of vinegar, some garlic, I guarantee if we can fry it and it tastes pretty good. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be the best ever, but I bet it's gonna be pretty good. I'm not sitting here trying to get every ounce of meat off this flay. We could care less. This fish is crazy destructive. We're just here to try it. I will cut that bloodline out though. Other than that, that meat doesn't look bad at all. You hear them wood ducks, Brad? Mm-hmm. It's not a bad chunk of meat. Right all right, y'all, those carp, that was the most nasty, disgusting place. I can't imagine there's a place anywhere nastier in the world than that. Dead carp by the millions. I don't even want to say thousands. I'm going to say millions because they were everywhere. You guys, check out Nicole's channel. We just filmed an epic show. She was shooting them with her bow. She was gigging them with my Gator Pro gig. And she's got an amazing channel, and her and I are going to do a bunch of videos in the future. Check out her bed and breakfast in Venice, Louisiana, because I'll be there soon.